Hello, here is another problem for quadratic applications. The question says the sum of two numbers is 12 and sum of their squares is 74. What are the numbers? Correct? So let's first define our variables. So we say let the numbers be x and y. Okay. <clears throat> x and y. In that case, sum of two numbers is 12. That means x plus y equals to 12. And from here, because there are two variables, it's a good idea to write one in terms of another. So we can say x is equal to 12 minus y. That's the first equation. Now, and sum of their squares is 74. So that means sum of their squares will be x square plus y square is equal to 74. Correct? This is sum of their squares. Now, here, what you can do is you can replace this x square with this 12 minus y. In that case, you will have a variable, just single variable equation. Is that okay? Yes. So, so what we will do is, instead of this x, we will write 12 minus y. So, we will substitute the value of x in our second equation. Let me number the equations. Let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So we are going to do what? Sub 1 in 2. Is that okay? Now, then what do we get? So we get 12 minus y whole square plus y square equals to 74. Correct? Now, we can expand this. So you can expand using perfect square formula, right? Do you remember that? It is, you remember a minus b whole square equals to? It is a square minus 2ab plus b square, correct? So we'll use that and expand this. After that, we'll try to simplify it, correct? So let's expand it. So 12 square is 144, so we go 144 minus 2 times 12 is 24 y, so we go 24 y plus y square plus y square and then we have this y square plus y square equals to 74. Now we can bring all the terms to one side and rearrange, correct? So here we have 2 y square, so this is 2 y square minus 24 minus 24 y and then we have 144 minus 74 right so we say 144 minus 74 so we can say 144 minus 74 correct so we are left with 70 correct so I'll write plus 70 equals to 0 correct now we need to factor this or we can use quadratic formula at this stage to find y. First let's factor, divide everything by 2. We can write 2 also as a factor here and then we can say what is inside for us. So here we are left with y square minus 12y plus 35 equals to 0. Correct. Now 2 cannot be 0. But the factor inside can be 0, right? So let's see, it's a quadratic function. We can use product and sum to factor this out, right? So what should be the product? The product should be, let's say, two numbers, p and q. And uh, product should be 35, right? And sum of p and q should be how much? Minus 12. That means uh, both are same sign and both are negative correct? So the two numbers 7 and 5 will give you 35. We need minus 12 so both should be negative. Is it okay? So that should help us to factor this out. So we get 2 times y minus 7 times y minus 5 equals to 0. So we have factored this out. 
Now, once we have factored, then we can find out what the value of y can be, correct? So, to make this 0, y could be 7 or y could be 5. So, we have now our answer y equals to 7 or and y equals to 5. Is it okay? Now, this is our y value. Now, you said two numbers when added, they give you 12. So, if y is 7, then x is 5. Is y is 5, the x is 7. You can also find the value of x using our initial formula, right? Where equation 1 said x is equals to 12 minus y. So if I use 7, I get 12 minus 7 equals to 5, correct? Anyway, so the two numbers which we have is, so we can write down the answer as the two numbers. are 5 and 7, correct? So if you add 5 and 7, you get 12 and their squares, 5 square is 25 plus 7 square is 49. If you add 5 square and 7 square, you get 74, correct? So that's what the result was. So that's our answer and that's the check also. I hope you understand. Okay, thank you.